Hi guys, kung ngayon yung problem natin na isosolve is all about wedge. So yung wedge is um, one of the types of friction. So in our previous video, may mga several tayong uh, nasolve tungkol sa black friction. So ngayon naman is wedge naman yung ating isosolve. So yung problem, the black A supports a load. Yung weight niya is 1,000 pound and is to be raised by forcing the wedge B under it. The angle of friction for all surfaces in contact is 15 degrees. Then determine the force P which is necessary to start the wedge under the block. So dito, ito yung given figure natin. So ito yung force applied natin. It is parallel sa ating horizontal. Then itong block B, ito yung itutulak natin. Then once na itulak natin to, yung block A natin naman is mag-move upward. So itong block B, ito yung wedge na itutulak natin. Then yung hahanapin natin yung force na mag-start yun ng motion. Then na yung angle of friction is 15 degrees. So yung angle of friction, ito yung resultant between normal force and frictional force. So bago natin to ilagay, so kailangan muna natin ma-identify yung mga forces na nag -e exert sa ating figure. So i-draw muna natin. So first, um, dito sa black A, kapag tinulak natin itong black B, so yung motion ng black A natin is going upward. So pag going upward ito, meron frictional force na nagre-resist dito which is acting downward. So ganito yung approach ng ating frictional force. So it is going downward. Then meron tayong reaction between this wall and block A. Yung normal force ng wall sa block A is ganito. So ganito yung itsura ng normal force natin. Then yung resultant nito, connect natin yung head to tail which is ganito na sa ating uh, drawing. Connect natin yan, connect natin yung tail ng normal force sa head ng frictional force. And ganito yung magiging itsura nyan. So yung resultant ng normal force at frictional force, tawagin na lang natin R sub 1. So yung resultant nyan ay may angle na 15 degrees. So itong 15 degrees is also known as angle of friction. So ito yung minimin sa problem na yung angle of friction for all surfaces meaning hindi lang dito. So may mga several um, forces pa dito na mayroong angle of friction. So pareho-pareho silang 15 degrees. So katulad nito. So once na okay na, pwede natin i-erase yung NN frictional force at mag-focus na lang tayo sa R sub 1 since resultant naman ito ng dalawang forces. Next is, um, dito sa pagitan ng block A at block B, so merong frictional force na present. So hindi sinabi na smooth surface yung bottom ng block A at yung top surface ng block B. So meaning, may irregularity sa kanilang pagitan. So pag ganun, meron niyang frictional force. So paano natin malalaman yung direction ng frictional force? So assume natin, ganun pa rin, tinulak natin ito. Ganyan nga, sabi ko kanina na yung block A is magmumove upward. But yung block B natin is magmumove horizontally. So, yung motion yan is magiging ganito. Then, kapag yung block B natin is going right, may frictional force yan na, na nag-paper bend. So, dito, yung block A natin is mag-aakyat dito sa top surface. So, pag tinulak natin to, yung block A natin is mag sa slide sa top surface ng block B. So, dito, yung motion ng block A natin is side and going upward. So, dito, going sideward siya. Then, pag going sideward siya, yung frictional force natin is going to the right. Ganito yung magiging approach ng frictional force natin. Then, we all know na may normal force ito, pagitan. So, yung normal force is perpendicular sa ating plate or block B. So, ganito yung tsura ng normal force. Ito. Then, we have uh, vertical. So, draw tayo ng vertical dito. So, yung angle nito is 20. Kasi kung 20 ito, therefore, yung angle din nito is 20. Then, paano natin malalaman yung resultant force? So, ganito yan. So, dito, let's say na ito yung end. So, ganito din yung approach. And yung frictional force is ganito. Kinunay ko lang siya head to tail. Then, yung resultant force niya is ganito. So, ganito. So, yung angle nito is 15. Yung tawag sa 15 degrees, ito yung angle of friction. So, yung resultant, tatawagin natin R2. So, ganito lang yan. So, paano natin ilalagay yan dito? So, ganito lang. Yan. So, nag lang ako ng extension nila. So, ito yung normal force natin. At ito yung R2. So, meaning, ito rin yung ating normal force. Ito. So, meaning, maglalagay tayo ng 15 degrees dito at yung resultant natin is ganito yung approach. So, i-draw natin yun dito. So, ito na yung R2 natin. So, it is 15 degrees similar to this. So, ito yung normal force natin. In-extend ko lang. Katulad nito, eh, 15 degrees siya sa left ng ating normal force. So, now, next. So, lastly, meron pa tayong surface. So, ito yung pinapatungan ng ating block B. So, dito, meron din yung frictional force. Pag tinulang natin yan papunta sa right, may frictional force yan na pag act opposite. So, ganito yung arrow niya going to the left. Then, meron din normal force between block and 
our survey. So, it is going upward. And ito. Then, yung resultant force ng dalawang yan is... So, ito. R3. So, pasensya na, guys, kung medyo malaki yung 15 degrees ko. So, nilakihan ko lang talaga para makita ninyo yung uh, angle. So, kapag maliit, medyo mahihirapan pa yung intindihin. Pero, ganito lang yung concept niya. Normal force pala ito at ito yung frictional force and yung resultant tatawagin natin R3. So, yung 15, ito rin yung angle of friction. Ito lang yung mga forces natin. So, we have R1 which is dito sa block A and uh, wall. May angle siya ng 15 degrees horizontal. Then, we have R2. So, ito yung uh, forces na nag exist uh, between block B and block A. So, may angle of friction din itong 15 degrees with respect sa normal force and 35 degrees with respect sa vertical. So, 20 plus 15 is 35. Then, lastly, we have R3. So, it is 15 degrees with respect sa vertical. So, now, na-okay na. Na-identify na natin yung mga forces. Then, we can proceed to free body diagram. So, first, kailangan natin i-draw yung free body diagram ng A para medyo malinaw naman ang content. So, ito yung itsura ng aking free body diagram sa A. So, ito yung black A natin. So, meron tayong 1,000 pound. Ito. Then, we have R1. So, ito yan. It is 15 degrees horizontal. So, ganun lang din. So, magdodraw lang tayo dito ng horizontal line. Okay, dito. Then, katulad na siya nito. Then, also, we have reaction 2, which is ito. 15 degrees siya with respect sa normal force. And 35 degrees with respect sa vertical axis. So, ito. So, tatlo lang yung mga forces na nag-exert sa ating block A. So, now, we can uh, make these three forces 1 into force triangle. Una kung doon is yung 1,000. Then, next is yung R2 natin. So, it is 35 degrees. Ito. So, kung hindi nyo naintindihan, ganito yan. So, ito. Ganito yan. Paano ako na-derive yung 35? So, ganito. So, ito. R2. Then, 15. And, 20. So, dinerecho ko lang yan. Then, in ko yung angle. Nakamap ko yung 35. So, ganun lang. Next is yung um, reaction 1 natin is 15 degrees with respect sa horizontal. So, ito. 15 degrees siya with respect sa horizontal. At kapag dinerecho natin yan, maging 15 degrees siya dito below horizontal. Kasi tumago siya dito sa point. So, gets? So, now, since okay na, kailangan natin identify yung mga missing angle. So, kung ito, yung total angle, total angle ng perpendicular is 90 and given na yung 15 and 35. So, yung natira na lang is 40 degrees. Then, ito, 35 plus 40 is 75 and 180 minus 75 is 105. So, remember na yung total angle ng triangle is 180. And, ito na. So, now, we can solve for unknowns. So, dalawa lang yung unknowns natin, which is R1, R2. So, solve na lang natin sila. Baka kailangan natin sa susunod na free body diagram. So, using sine daw. So, first, 1000 over sine 40. Ito yung angle niya. Is equals to R sub 1. Yung angle niya is sine 35 is equals to R sub 2. Yung angle niya is sine 105. Then, to solve R1, cross multiply lang natin. So, 1000 sine 35 over sine 40. So, yung R1 natin is equals to 892.33 pound. So, ito na yung R1 natin. Ay, continue, lang, continue na lang natin. Solving for R2. Cross multiply ulit. So, 1000 sine 105 over sine 40. So, R sub 2 is equals so, ito na yung mga announce natin. We finally solve for their magnitude force. So, proceed na tayo sa ating free body diagram B since okay na. Nasolve na natin yung dalawang announce. So, ito na yung free body diagram B natin. So, we have force and yung R2 natin is pababa. Kasi based sa ating problem, dito with respect sa B, yung reaction niya is going apart. So, dito, meron din uh, force na nagre-reflect back. And ito yung R sub 2. So, same lang yung kanilang um, angle. So, 35. So, ito. So, dediretsoin lang natin yan. So, ganito din yung approach ng ating R sub 2. So, R sub 2 ito. Therefore, yung angle nya is 35. So, 15. So, it is 20 dito. And 15 dito. So, all in all, 35 degrees. So, ganun din. So, okay na. Then, we have R sub 3. So, ito yan. So, with, this, with respect sa vertical or N, 50 degrees siya. So, maglagyan ko din dito ng vertical. 15 degrees din siya, katulad nito. And once okay na, pwede na tayo mag-focus dito. And R2, may value na tayo kanina na nasolve sa ating uh, free body diagram A. So, note natin yan. 
kailangan natin yan para i-substitute mamaya. So, let's make these three forces and connect and para magkaroon tayo ng force triangle. So, this is the force triangle with these three forces. So, yung P, which is acting horizontal. Then, we have R2. So, it is, ito yung R2. So, yung dulo niya is 35 degrees. Pag dinerecho ko yan, tatago siya dito. So, pag 35 ito, dito is 35. And, yung total angle ng perpendicular is 90. Therefore, pag 35 ito, ang natitirang angle na lang is 55. Okay? Then, sa R2, yun. So, dito, yung 35 ito, yung dito rin is 35. And, dito is 55. Yun lang yan. Next is, meron tayong R sub 3. So, yung R sub 3 na natin is maliit. Yung degree, 15 degree. So, ito, hindi nag-gas siya. Kung nilagay ko na lang arrow, so, sana hindi hindihan nyo pa rin. So, ganito lang yan. So, dito, pareho siya dito, di ba? 15 degree siya sa y-axis. Kapag din na-retro natin yan, tatago siya dito. And, ganun pa rin. But, 15 degrees din siya with respect sa horizontal. So, once na okay na, lagyan na lang natin yung mga missing angle. So, ito is 15. So, yung total angle sa corner na to, 15 plus 35 is 50. Then, 50 plus 55 is 105. And, 180 minus 105 is 75. So, remember, again, yung total angle sa triangle is 180. So, once na okay na, then we can proceed to value of P. So, ito. P is 1,191.75 or P is approximately 1,192 pounds. So, finally, um, yung kailangan pala natin para mag-start yung motion sa block B or with a load na 1,000 pounds is actually 1,192 pounds. So, pag ganun, dyan na magsisimula mag-start yung pag-move ng wedge natin with angle of friction na 15 degrees in each surface. Yan lang mag-solve ng force required to start motion in a wedge kind of problem. 